John Spriggs here with Cutthroat Anglers. I am going to show you how to tie a chubby Chernobyl. This is a fly um, we use a ton on the Colorado River. Uh, great during the salmon fly hatch. Um, hoppers, big bugs flying around. This is a good one to have in your bag. Um, we like it too because it's super easy for the angler to see and you can also drop off some pretty big nymphs um, due to how much foam is on this bug. It definitely holds a lot of weight. Um, so we're going to tie it in a size 8. Um, that's pretty standard size. Uh, you can tie it in a bunch of different sizes. You know, 14s work well, um, 6s as well if you really want to go really big with it. Um, so I'm using the Tiemco, uh 5262 hook. Um, the thread, really just use any color thread that you want on there. Um, you can use pretty thick thread because this bug's a pretty big bug. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with the tail. Um, we're going to just take this crystal flash um, that we have here. We're just going to separate about seven or eight strands, whatever you really want, however bushy you want to make that tail. Um, so we're just going to cut those strands off. We're just going to lay them on the top of the hook uh, and then leave the tail long. You can always cut it after. So we're just going to tie that tail in. So we're going to go all the way to the back of the hook. Um, this is just the way I tie a chubby Chernobyl, uh, a lot of different ways. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be super pretty here at the beginning because all this stuff is going to get covered uh, with dubbing here in a second. Um, some people like to throw foam um, on the hook just to make the body a little thicker and add flotation. Today we're just going to just go straight to the dubbing, just show you a little quicker version and there's still so much foam on it that it floats great. So we're going to grab a pretty big pinch of what I'm using is ice dub pheasant tail dubbing. Um, you can get that at our local fly shop here, Cutthroat Anglers. So we're just going to wrap that dubbing, get a nice wrap onto the thread, make a nice noodle. You can see I use quite a bit, um, which is fine because you really want this body to be really chubby like in the name. You want it to be nice and fat. So we're going to go ahead and start wrapping that dubbing back towards the end of the hook. Get it all the way out to the end. There we go. Then we're just going to bring it back just about a quarter of the way back towards the front of the hook and we're just gonna let it hang there. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna add our foam body. Uh, what I'm using is a two millimeter piece of foam, uh, black, tan, green, um, there's a bunch of different colors you can use. Um, have a little tool you can buy at the shop, you can also just cut them out uh, by hand. This is like a cookie cutter kind of. Um, so there's my body and I'm gonna lay it just so the rounded end, the butt end of the body, just hangs off the back of the hook. We're going to clamp that down pretty good there. So once we have the foam on there, we're going to move on to the legs. So the legs, what we use is silly legs. It's just a little rubber leg. You can cut them to size, um, you know, cut them so they're a little bit big, just so you can trim them later. Um, you can mess with the leg sizes and stuff like that. So the way I like to put them on is I like to just wrap it around the thread. Now that we're on the other side, I'm going to point it away from me and just let go and make sure that thread goes right in between them. If they're not laying perfect, that's fine because we can uh, adjust that when we put the dubbing in between. So once we have our legs on there, we're going to take some McFlylin Poly Pro, which acts as the wings and also helps the bug float as well as you can see it super well. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut two pieces, um, one about two inches, the other one about an inch and a half or a little bit shorter. Um, the shorter piece we're going to put right in between the legs, about right in the middle, and we're just going to clamp it down with 
couple wraps and we're gonna fold that McFly line down and over and I like to just throw a couple wraps on the top because that's just gonna help lock that down and let it sit back a little bit on the fly instead of straight up. So now we're gonna grab our dubbing again we're gonna take a little less dubbing this time and this is just gonna cover your wraps. It'll also separate those legs if you do it correctly. Um, so we're gonna get a nice little noodle on the thread there and we're just gonna make sure we wrap it right in between those legs and then we're gonna pinch and fold the legs and the body up and we're gonna wrap back up the body get the dubbing out of the way now we're gonna just wrap back up the body to about where there's a quarter of the hook left so you're going three quarters back up the body and we're gonna lock the foam down again so now we're gonna do the exact same thing with the legs so we're gonna grab the first leg put it in between the thread we're just gonna throw a couple wraps in there lock it down and you're gonna grab the last leg do the same thing wrap around the thread point it away from you right back up and there you go and you can kinda like I said mess with the legs a little bit later so legs are in now we're gonna put on our next piece of McFlyllin same thing kinda right in the middle there Make sure we wrap it a couple times pinch it I like to throw some wraps over just to pinch that so it sits back a little bit for you. There we go. Now we're going to go into the dubbing one more time. Like I said, you don't need as much dubbing. This is just to cover those thread wraps you just created. Get a nice little noodle on there. finish tool here and since it's such a big hook pull those legs back since it's a big hook I like to do about four or five wraps twice just to really lock it in there so if your chubby's not looking perfect yet that's fine because we're gonna fine-tune it here so first I'm gonna start with the foam we're gonna just trim the front of the foam just so it's just past the eyelid of the hook There's that. now if the legs need any trimming you can definitely trim the legs you can kinda pull the legs up separate them a little bit and then the McFly lens sometimes you can brush that out if it looks like it's a little stuck together so brush that out there then I like to just cut the wings so when I cut the wings I like to pinch them together and I like to kinda line it up with the tail end of the hook and we're just gonna trim that trim the tail a bit just so it ends about with the, where the foam ends there and there you go. You got yourself a chubby Chernobyl. This thing crushes fish. Um, super easy to tie. Uh, you know, you can put a lot of nymph weight underneath that thing, and they're pretty durable, tough. Put some fly agar on that thing, it'll float all day, it'll catch fish. Hope this was helpful, and uh, hope to see you in the shop. Have a good one.